Welcome back everyone, Stefan on the French Cooking Academy. Now it's true that we don't do many salads on the channel. So today I thought we will do one salad because I know in some part of the world it's summer, it's beautiful, it's hot. So I propose to you to discover the famous Salade Lyonnaise, which is a, a salad made in the style of the city of Lyon in France. It only used very simple ingredients and some green lettuce and it's called I think in English endives, it's called chicorée uh, in French or frisé. Some garlics, some smoky bacon, we're gonna have some beautiful crouton, of course, medium boiled eggs. But what makes that salad special? It's the dressing using walnut oil. Get to your pants and let's go. So let's jump right in. So that recipe requires only a few ingredients, but the quality of the ingredients is key. And so for instance, for the what we call bacon, uh, lardon in French, I'm using a whole piece of smoked bacon like that uh, and we're just gonna have to uh, trim it uh, so depending on how you buy it you don't want to keep all the rind here uh, so we're just gonna kind of get rid of all that that rind Oop, a bit tough there and maybe if you have something really fresh like me same thing here and uh, you can get rid of a very thin layer and keep that for uh, to flavor soups or beans uh, for, for instance when you do dry beans and then from here, uh, we're then ready, we have a nice piece. And you're just gonna uh, basically make some slices that are gonna allow you here to create this kind of lardon. So you want something really kind of, of this size. This is the large ones. But if you really want something, you know, from a good experience, I like to make these really thin ones. Now the other item that's important, of course, it's the bread. We're going to make croutons. So there's two styles. Some people like to make this kind of squarish and the typical little cubes and uh, the croutons. But sometimes uh, in Lyon, what you will have is uh, slices. So I'm going to cut that piece of bread here. So what you can have is the whole slice of the bread like that uh, and try to make it really kind of thin like this. So that's, that's how thin. You don't want something, you know, you're not going to cut like a, it's not a sandwich. Right. So I'm going to try to use those because I kind of like uh, to use these ones because we're going to coat them with garlic uh, in the recipe. And it's going to be easier to use like a whole crouton rather than the small ones. Finally, let's talk about the eggs and the salad. Huh? We call the salad, I don't know if you call it lettuce in English. And uh, we call it the frisé uh, in French, which means the, uh, the curly hair salad. Uh, because of the curls like this you see uh, so that's very important to wash your salad especially this type if it's uh, really uh, from the market and there's gonna be lots of scent so remember to wash you wash it twice and uh, one bath of water and you scoop it out of the water and when you when you take it out you take it out like that you don't kind of let the water recede and then grab the salad because you're going to mix it with the scent again so two water bath for the salad and the eggs we're gonna boil them, it's gonna be medium boil. And what's important when you make these eggs, like hard boiled eggs, room temperature. Don't take your eggs from the fridge and plunge them in boiling water because obviously with the thermal shock, chances are they're gonna break, you know, they're gonna crack. So room temperature, and then we're gonna see how to cook them. Okay, so let's make some medium boiled eggs. Uh, it is between the soft boiled egg and the hard boiled egg. We still want to have the yolks, it's a little bit creamy. So what is the technique? Boiling water, you take your eggs in boiling water and you're gonna plunge them in gently. And so you can use a spoon, don't, don't drop them like this, like at the swimming pool when you try to make a, a bomb, as we say in, in French. Okay, up. And then basically you wait, before you start the timer, you're gonna wait for the, the vigorous boil to come back. Eh? Okay, so only when the boil like this is back, you start your timer and this is six minutes for medium boiled eggs. That's it. So we're going to cook them and then take them out. Right, it's been six minutes, immediately heat off. I'm going to pour the water out and pour cold water on top here. So that's going to make the peeling of the eggs very easy. Now today to make the lardon, we're going to use this, a steel pan. And a lot of you have been asking in the comment, what kind of steel pan do I use? What is the difference between the other pan? Is it really useful to have one? And how do we go about seasoning these types of pans? So very briefly, a steel pan is full metal, made of steel. 
very thick. This is a De Bayer Mineral B. That's what I'm using. You can see the label here. And it's coated with beer wax when you buy it. But after that, basically, it is just a steel pan. Now, the steel pan is the ancestor of the non-stick pan. And the drawback, it's very heavy and it has to be seasoned. When we, what we mean by seasoning the pan is basically not putting salt and pepper on it, like a salad, and, but just to create a natural non-stick coating with the oil every time you're going to be cooking with it more and more. There's going to be like a black layer that's going to start to appear and then you're going to have that perfectly non-stick coating and this is where these types of pan becomes magical. The problem is it takes a long time and what is the reality of actually buying a new one, having this in your kitchen, like me, and when you don't use it very often, well, the result is this. You see? Let me zoom in. Just a little bit of seasoning that barely starts. All right, so zooming in, the seasoning is, you see all these marks, that kind of black marks? This is what you want to have absolutely everywhere. The problem, I've, have, I've been using this like maybe 10 times, and what's happening is this. First, you need to have oil at all times in the pan, otherwise it has a tendency to rust. So a little bit of oil like this. And when you take a paper towel, this has been sitting in my drawers and I've been oiling it. What will happen automatically when you clean it before you use it, as you will see on the paper here, is this. There's always that kind of little rust, that residual metal that tends to form in the pan, meaning the maintenance at the beginning it is pretty intense. So the best thing, if you want to use one of those, and I'm going to start using more and more because I need to season it, is just use it. Only oil stuff like butter, oil, don't use any acidic product, no tomatoes, nothing like that, okay? So let's use that to make the lardon. Now that sounds like a lot of drawback, right? It's not even super pretty when you start like, so why would we bother using this? Well, because this is the king of searing. And also you can use metal utensils with that. So using my bacon here, no fat, you see, you immediately get this sizzling effect and that browning effect because the metal gets very hot. And this is why back in the days, this was used extensively and to cook all kinds of meats and to really get this, this brown colors and the searing that we all love. Okay, so let's make some lardon. All done. So look at that. That took basically, what, two and a half minutes. I'm going to take them out, put them on a paper towel to absorb the excess of fat, and we're going to do croutons. Okay, so my lardon are ready. Let's make some croutons. So this pan, uh, you never wash it. I've just rinsed with water. Or what you do, you take a paper towel, and again, to keep the fat in, boom. I'm going to warm it up, and this time, I'm going to use butter instead of oil because we like to have these buttery croutons. Now this pan loves fat, so anything with fat, this pan will really enjoy and you will benefit for just using it with fatty stuff. Okay, so we want to make crouton with this, no problem. Take your piece of bread and same thing. You don't even need a very high heat, which is great with these pans, and you'll still get that brown color that you want. This is what we we love using sometimes these pans in France. All right, so again, two minutes in. It's not a photogenic type of pan, yes, but look at the result. Let's turn these things. It's been on low heat, about two minutes. Boom, look at that. That is a good looking crouton. Et voilà, my crouton already. Look at this, a little nice coloration on either side. Same thing, heat off, paper towel to absorb the excess of fat. All right, so we're almost done. We've got all the elements. And the last thing is the dressing. The dressing, very important, has to be made with walnut oil because that is going to bring a lot of taste. So we're going to start uh, with a very generous dressing. So plenty of salt, pepper. And this time, two large tablespoons. Then using a whisk, Remember, you dissolve the salt with the vinegar first. And to finish, uh, we're going to have six spoons. Two, three, four, five, six. And that's going to be it. And we're just going to mix the whole lot. Maybe add a little bit of parsley and we're done. 
Now to finish, I promise this is the last thing. When your croutons are ready, you take a piece of garlic like this. I've already done some croutons, but you take your crouton and you're gonna brush your garlic like this on either side to give that nice garlicky taste on the crouton. So you do the same for all of the croutons. Okay, so everything is ready. We're now gonna be serving the salad. Now before you do so, let me give you a little trick. When it comes to serving salad uh, in a bowl like this, what you do is to first put your salad in a bowl and put the dressing over before you put that in your serving dish. All right, so I've got my salad here. And what I'm gonna do is to start pouring my dressing over and then tossing in a bowl on here to make sure my salad is well dressed. And I can make a mess on my table, it does not matter. Now let's try to dress the salad. So I'm gonna be using that kind of nice rustic terracotta because that's gonna go on the table. Uh, and I'm gonna start just adding a big mount. I'm just doing a two person starter, that's it. Next, a simple uh, sprinkle of this lovely crouton that we have. Uh, and again, less is more. This is a simple lettuce salad. Uh, it's not meant to be a super complicated. It's just about the simple ingredients and uh, thinly chopped like this that are gonna bring everything. And after that, of course, the croutons. Oh, and, oh, oh these croutons. They smell the, gar the garlic is just amazing. <laughs> Uh, how many should we put? Four or five? Maybe I add another one there. Okay, I'll grab the eggs. Now to finish off the salad, of course, we've got uh, les œufs mollets, uh, the creamy eggs. And look, look how creamy. See this? That is enough mollet. So the egg yolk is actually cooked, you see, but it is still very, very tender, very, very soft. So two eggs per person. Okay, like that. Simple, nothing complicated. And of course, we just then finish with a little bit of dressing, a sprinkle of dressing over, yeah, and a chopping of parsley, a little bit of dressing on the croutons there. Yeah, so it has to be nice and juicy. And I grab some parsley to finish. All right, so let's finish off with a little bit of parsley from the garden. Yeah. Oh, and the the smell. Grow your parsley, guys. Honestly, I keep on saying, and Paul Bocuse was saying, all I said, a bit of parsley, roughly chopped, not too small. And basically, that's it. Uh, if you want, you could kind of decorate on the side. Uh, you're going to bring it to the table with a little leaf there. But that's it. Very simple. And you've got a salad lyonnaise. So that's all good. But what about tasting that salad? <laughs> so who's hungry? Yeah, I am. So um, yes. That's the salad, and as you can see, let's recap a little bit. Look at the creaminess of these eggs. Uh, les œufs mollets, remember, six minutes. Uh, the little lardon that we've got, let me try one. Mm. Nice one, but what I want to try, I think. Uh, shall I try the crouton? I think I want to try the crouton uh, with an egg, and maybe a little bit of salad. Let's make a little toast like this. Up, and I'll have a taste. Cheers. that does not get old oh you know what simple pleasures oh the the crouton with the garlic and that dressing here with a slight intonation of bacon honestly very good so for the picture i'll put one back but wow honestly guys this is a really good salad very simple but super efficient and that completes the video of the week, guys. I hope you enjoyed how to make this uh, simple salad, but very efficient. Remember, the walnut dressing is the one thing that changes everything for the dressing of the lettuce and this of mole, uh, the medium boiled egg. Six minutes, remember, will bring you that creaminess and of course, garlic taste with the crouton. It's plain amazing. But if you have any question about this or something else, use the comment section in that video. If you make the recipe, share your picture on Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy. And if you want, you can support me by joining my Patreon page, or you can also consider getting one of our online courses to learn all the technicality of French cooking. I'll see you all next week. Take care all. Bye-bye.